Uh, I just think that when Mr. Ladd brought up the concept of considering unintended consequences, I think it wise for um, any government body uh, to always put unintended consequences foremost in their mind before they act. Uh, in the case of the playground, I will remind the commissioners and the so world at large. Up again, this March meeting. Um, no, uh, I will remind one and all <laughs> that the playground. Every time we put a, a fixture in that playground, we're making a gift to the state. No, we own those. We own every piece of. Because the program. real estate. Any time you attach anything to a piece of real estate it becomes part of the real estate and thus owned by whoever owns that real estate. And we all know, although we never actually say it publicly very much, that the land that that playground sits on is owned by the state. Right. So any time we fix anything to the playground, it becomes state property. And, you know, that's an ongoing concern that is not really expressed. And I'm sorry, uh, but we brought up the idea of the importance of unintended consequences. This is one of those unintended consequences that's been going on for a long time. I know the central argument is that we love the playground, that we've always done it this way, <laughs> and we've got to keep doing it this way because we've always done it this way. But the fact of the matter is we have squatters rights. we're using local tax money we're using, <laughs> no, there's no common law here. Okay. <laughs> the fact remains, no matter of our emotions, we like the playground, no matter of our emotions that we've always done it this way, the fact remains that we are using local taxes to make improvements and maintenance upon state property, which to me is repugnant. And I suspect it's repugnant to you most people once they consider the fact that it's state property. But you see, since we don't actually point out the fact that the playground sits on state property, we just generally assume that it's owned by the village district. Well, and I it's that so assumption, it's that years assumption. Years ago, the it's state thought we owned it until we started bringing this up at all our meetings. <laughs> well, it's that assumption that needs to be uh, kind of, uh, you know, uh, killed. It needs to be brought out that, you know, that is state property and that's a simple fact it's not subject to interpretation. It's a fact. Agreed? All right. well, Is that agreed, Mr. Chairman, that that playground sits on state property? That's, Is, that's a fact. Okay. Thank you very much. All right.